Okay, hi everyone. Today we're going to be showing off my BK Precision Telephone Tester Model 1045A. This device is built to test the analog telephones, either rotary or touch tone. It'll display your dial digits. It will provide dial tone to the telephone so you can hear if the receiver is working. And this light here will light up anytime there's any noise being sent through the transmitter. We can also test our telephone and handset cords uh, with just by plugging them in. The system has a standard PC power cord in the back and a adjustable handle on the sides. I use that to make sure it stands up at a level that I can actually read easily. So moving across from left to right, we're gonna test the telephone cord first. This cord here is just a single pair. You can see those two gold contacts. So when I plug this in, I expect to have single line light up. And just like that, single line lights up. We know this cord is good. We're gonna come back to that cord later. We can also test our curly cords. Or, you know, they don't have to be curly. I've seen them straight. They're usually curly though. Curly cords always have four connectors on them. Kind of hard to see, but they are all four there. So I expect both of those lights to light right up. And just like magic, they do. Next up, we're demonstrating touch tone telephone. So this is a Northern Telecom Harmony telephone. This was a pretty popular phone throughout the 90s. I know I had one growing up uh, in a beige the red, I think, looks a little nicer. So I'm just going to plug that in here using that same line cord we tested a moment ago. And then we're going to plug that into the Telephone One test jack. I'm going to set the phone down on the table here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to move this a little bit out of the way. And as you can see right now, it's plugged in. There's no lights on. The moment I go off hook, we're gonna have some voice levels and this is gonna to switch to a zero because I haven't dialed any digits yet. This is showing up red because there's actually dial tone on the set right now. You can't hear it because it's coming out of a tiny speaker and this is a large room, but I promise you I've got dial tone on the phone. When I press a digit, that light's gonna go out because I'm no longer gonna have dial tone. As you can see, it's out. Now, if I speak into the phone, which I'm doing right now, you can see it lights up to indicate that it's actually receiving speech. All very good. If I hang the phone back up, I can actually ring it. And as you can see, it's following the standard ring cycle. Uh, this is a North American device, so it is gonna follow the North American ring cycles. I would imagine there are similar devices for other jurisdictions, but I don't have those. When I pick up the phone, Obviously, I'm off hook again. It's not going to keep ringing. As you can see, for each digit I press, it's going to briefly light up because I'm pressing a digit. There's sound coming through. And it shows the digit I've dialed all the way through all 10 digits. Now, unlike the rotary phone, we have a couple extra keys on here. We've got our star key, which shows up as a dot in the corner, and our pound, which is a line at the bottom. They just didn't build this display for those sort of characters. So that was the fun part. Very easy. That's our DTMF telephone. We're going to do the same thing again with this trim line phone that you might recognize from another one of my videos. Again, very simple. I'm going to plug it in. First thing we'll do is we'll ring it. And you can see it is ringing. Very loud. These actually have a nice bell in them. This is a really cool phone. I love these phones. A lot of engineering went into making them. But as you see, so I'm going to dial a three. When I let go, it says three. I'm going to dial a zero. I let go, wait for it to get all the way back. That's a zero. Same for the one. Any digit I dial shows up on the display. And there you have it. That is how a telephone tester works.